Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this cool dotted spiral effect in Illustrator, and then we're gonna bring it on to Photoshop and make something cool with it, with that RGB effect that you see in the thumbnail. So let's jump right into it. It's actually really easy and fast. First off, we're gonna grab our ellipse tool and we're going to remove our fill by just clicking here on none. And we'll, that will leave us with a black stroke color. Then I'm going to open up the stroke panel right over here. If you can't find it here, you will find it under the window um, and stroke. First off, I'm going to round the caps. Check the dashed line box and adjust my stroke weight. Click here to align the stroke to the center and change the profile to this, which will make it go from big to small. Then basically the last thing we have to do in Illustrator is just go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. And now you get to play around with these settings. Uh, there's no right or wrong settings. You can just figure out what you like most. You can change both values of the scaling. Make sure to add a bunch of copies. And then I usually just um, add some angle to it. And you get that cool spiral effect. If you press OK and then you decide you want to you change your mind, you can always go to the appearance panel over here and just click here on the transform effect and it'll bring you back to the or settings. So I'm going to press command C to copy and then we're opening up uh, Photoshop and I'm going to press command V to paste it into here as a smart object so that we don't lose this crisp quality. What I like to do in Photoshop is first add a bit of Gaussian blur. Just a little bit, this is too much. I'm just gonna add like one. I'll duplicate this layer just because I wanna keep a smart object here, just in case I just wanna go back. And I'm gonna rasterize this. I'm going to make three copies and double click on my layer and deselect all the channels apart from the blue one. And I'm going to do the same with the others, but I'm always going to leave another color. So this time I'm going to leave the green and here I'm going to leave the red. Now, I think I want my background to be black. So I'm just going to command I my background and invert that and do the same thing on my other layers. And you should get something like this. Now, the cool thing about this is, is that they each now are their own color challenge cha color channels so one is red one is blue one is green so what happens if i move one of these you get these like color separated so depending on which one you move you get some cool color combinations like that so that's what i did i'm going to command t on one and make it bigger. You can also like keep duplicating them and reselect some more channels. Um, make this smaller. You can also rotate it. Um, and you get this cool like psychedelic effect. Once you're happy with it, I'm gonna group, um, duplicate everything and command E, which will merge everything. I'll place this in a group and lastly, what I like to do is just add some noise to this. Let's go with 10. And that's it. Pretty cool, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and give this video a like. Linked in the description below are my gradient map packs and my texture packs and my poster mockups. Uh, so if you want to go take a look, definitely click the link down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye!